My name is Anastasis Zanis. I'm a yoga teacher, but in my sessions, I bring strength for my students as a great complement for the flexibility that yoga allows us to develop. I think that strength is often overlooked at the later stages of life. A lot of people believe that they have to get weaker as they get older, but it doesn't have to be like that. A lot of my students gained strength that they never had prior to working with me. If you want my help, please reach out. You can go to my website, which is www.ajanis.com and you can inquire there about helping you directly. Shoulder pain relief exercises for seniors. If you're watching this video, I expect that you have uh, some sort of shoulder problem. At the end of this video, I will give you one bonus exercise, which I think will be fantastic in order to strengthen your shoulders and make them very stable long term. But first, let's go through the, the stretches. I would like you to bring uh, one shoulder forward. We'll start with your left shoulder. And uh, from there, take the arm back and uh, you will uh, dorsiflex your wrist. From here, you will move uh, your head away from the shoulder and back up. Once you do that, you can also start taking your arm back. This is actually a nerve floss, which uh, in a lot of people will be trapped. And if that's the case for you, I would suggest that you want to perform this stretch uh, even outside this sequence on its own a couple of times a day. Let's change side. You may find a different range on the second side. You bring the shoulder forward. You bring the arm back into um, extension. You dorsiflex your wrist and from there you drop your head to the side. That's enough come back to the original position, upright position. And I would like you now to bring your left elbow level with your shoulder and dorsiflex again your wrist. From here, you will bring your wrist back towards your head and your head away, bring your head back in and your wrist away. And this is the movement that you will perform. First, moving your head, then moving your wrist. Again, another nerve floss. That's enough. You go to the second side. And if you are experiencing any pain in one of these two stretches, what you want to be doing is uh, moving slower and uh, moving up to the point that you feel the pain. So don't give up this exercise altogether. And uh, release. For the next exercise, I would like you to bring your arms on either side of your body and slowly lift uh, sideways up to the point uh, that you can. If you are able to bring the uh, arms level with your shoulders, that's great. And from here, I would like you to bring your shoulder blades towards each other. So instead of extending my arms forward, I'm going to bring my shoulder blades towards each other. I want to avoid arching from my back. So I'm keeping a tall line between the crown of the head and my tailbone. If that's challenging for you, of course, you can bring the arms a little bit lower. But I would assume that you don't have any pain here. I would like you just to stay here. For those of you that you feel that this is uh, comfortable, I would like you to start making rotations uh, with your shoulders. So let me explain now how these rotations work. One shoulder will be coming forward, the other shoulder will be turning backwards. You can think of the palms uh, turning in opposite directions. This movement uh, can start getting bigger and bigger, and uh, you will notice that uh, the movement of the shoulders has the tendency, will tend uh, to rotate your body. So when I'm bringing my left shoulder forward, I'm rotating towards my right and the other way around. If, uh, remember though, just holding your arms up was challenging for your shoulders, you can just stay with this variation. 
I would expect that some people will fatigue in, by doing this movement after a while. And for that reason, I suggest you bring your arms down and then join back uh, the sequence. But if you can stay with me throughout this sequence, please do so. Over time, you will get the strength and you will be able to perform this uh, with me throughout. Notice that I'm not afraid to bring my shoulder forward. Now again, I will repeat, if you feel pain at some point, you go up to the point that you felt the pain. Last five, four, three, two, and one. And release. For the next one, I will be giving you, again, a shoulder movement, which will involve some circular motion. It can be confusing, so I would suggest that you just place the screen in front of you and you follow along. I will start slowly, and this will allow you to, make, um, to copy me easy. So again, cactus pose, both elbows are level with uh, the shoulders and palms are out. Imagine you're holding uh, two candles that you don't want to drop on the floor. From here, you will slowly bring your hands uh, towards uh, your body and uh, the palms will stay up. The elbows will be level with your shoulders. From here, you will keep the elbows where they are and you will just turn the fingers out. The elbows are still elevated. And from there, you will bring uh, your fingers towards your head. If you notice final position, the fingers are out. If you notice, the elbows stayed pretty much at all times level with my shoulders. We're going to do that uh, two more times only. Slowly, the fingers are coming towards my body. Slowly, the fingers are turning away from my body. From the front, fingers are coming towards my head, and from the back, fingers are pointing away from my body. One last time. From the front, fingers coming towards my body. From the back, fingers are pointing away from my body. From the front, fingers are turning towards my head, and from the back, fingers are turning away from my head. Slowly release. Next one will also be a circular movement, but this time it will be happening on this plane. Let's uh, bring uh, the top of the palms uh, against each other and close to my navel. From here, I will bend my elbows and bring my elbows out. From there, I will make a big circle and bring my hands forward. And from here, I will reverse and bring my hands up towards in front of my chest. And from here, I will bring uh, I will straighten my elbows. Two more times. Elbows out. Big circular movement. Palms up. Big circular movement. Hands in front of the chest. Straightening the elbows. Last time. Elbows out. Big circular movement. Reverse. Straighten the elbows and release. The next exercise I'm going to give you will require a band. And uh, I would suggest that uh, you start with the lightest band uh, you have available, but I would also suggest uh, that you increase the resistance of the, band, of the bands over time. The bands have many functions when it comes to shoulder stability. Today, I will give you just two exercises. For the first one, one arm will be used as a reference point and most of the work will be done from the opposite side. This exercise, you will be having the elbow of the right arm next to your rib and the hand facing in. The other hand will be copying the first one and from here you will try to lift your elbow up without moving your shoulder much. Of course, the shoulder is moving, but what I want you to avoid is doing this action. So with the shoulder staying down, the elbow is going up. As you can see, this arm of my body is not moving. Most of the work is performed from the opposite side. 
last uh, three repetitions here. And release. Let's switch sides. Now, in this exercise uh, where you may have uh, a weaker shoulder, I would suggest uh, you set the band uh, to the resistance uh, that you can perform with a weak shoulder, not uh, alternate uh, the resistance of bands and do one with harder resistance and one with lighter one. Last uh, three repetitions here. And release. The next exercise uh, with the band will involve uh, the arms moving up and down. And because this movement is restricted in many people, I would first like you to do without the use of the band. So the arms, the hands are shoulder distance, and from here you bring your arms over your head. As you can see, I'm able to bring my arms completely above my head without bringing my arms apart and without flaring my ribs or arching my back you will go up to the point that uh, you have uh, available. So if that's as far as you can go, or if that's as far as you can go, you will go up to this point. I will be demonstrating my arms going completely above my head. There are many variations of this exercise, uh, but uh, I'm gonna give you now one which is probably most uh, accessible for people. And it is palms together, elbows straight, and I would like you to do small pulses here with uh, your shoulders, actually. And slowly, you will be bringing your arms in front of you and going throughout the whole range that you have available. And then slowly, you will come back down. We will perform five repetitions of that. I will encourage you to slow down the coming up and down at the point that it is most restricted for you. For me, it is somewhere here. So I should be spending more time with my arms parallel with the floor. But for a lot of people, the most restricted range is at the top of their shoulder flexion, which is at the top of this range. We're going to do two more. Slowly down. And last one. And as we're finishing this exercise, I'm now going to give you my bonus exercise, which I promise you will be a game changer when it comes to strengthening your shoulders. And especially for senior people, I think this is a very important uh, exercise because a lot of people, as they get older, they lose their, the strength in their grip. And uh, actually, this affects to some extent uh, the quality of their life as they cannot carry things or things slip of their hands and they, they fall on the floor. As I've said, I have worked with people of this uh, age and uh, it was uh, very uh, rewarding and they were feeling very empowered when they regained their grip which a lot of the times, of course, is affected by how much their shoulders can tolerate. For this exercise, I would like you to be holding something that is heavy, such as a small plate. Now, this plate is two and a half kilos, and I can tell you, I would not want you to go as far as that. Maybe start with a one kilo plate, or something, starting with something that it is half a kilo, or uh, at this range. And I would like you to hold this uh, device uh, to a point that if you were not holding it firmly, it would slip off your hands. You can buy a plate, but the reality is that you can be very creative with things that you have available at home. It can even be a book. The reality is there is not right or wrong grip. There are different grips uh, that your body will be strong and others that they will not be so much. If you have not done any grip work recently, I suggest you start uh, with uh, uh, whatever you have available. And I would like you to hold for 30 seconds to one minute. If you cannot hold it for that long, probably the weight is already too heavy for you. And uh, obviously you want to alternate uh, and work on the second side. And I would like you to be doing that uh, for three to five rounds on each side. So I would hold 
for like one minute here and then switch and that will be one round and I will do three to five of these rounds. I want to tell you that uh, the quality of your life will improve dramatically if you strengthen your shoulders and of course strengthen your wrists. But to achieve that, as I said in the beginning, you need to be practicing regularly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment uh, with uh, any feedback you have. Uh, if you found the part of this exercise is challenging, if you found it easy, if you are enjoying such videos, and uh, I, I would appreciate if you follow along uh, this uh, channel because uh, I, uh, helping people of uh, the older age is very close to my heart.